Hi, Patty, please go ahead. Thank you. My name is Patty Coates, and I'm the president of the Ontario Federation of Labour. Workers in this province are suffering. They have experienced income loss and live with the fear of COVID-19 outbreaks in their workplaces. They are devastated by the humanitarian crisis in long-term care, anxious about shrinking hospital spaces, and frustrated trying to keep up with education plans that change at a whim. Ontario is in crisis because of this government's refusal to invest in workers' health and safety. Budget 2021 must be pro-worker. It must invest in Ontario's health, safety, and future prosperity. This means investments that guarantee paid sick days, ensure a safer education plan, and urgently fix the humanitarian crisis that is raging in long-term care. The only way to ensure a return to a healthy economy is to put occupational health and safety first and give people the support they need to follow public health advice. Investing in strong public services that keep people healthy and safe not only ensures that Ontario will make it through this crisis, but it will also help us to recover better, faster, and be more resilient in the face of future crises. For every worker and their family, I am urging this government to deliver a budget that prioritizes workers and the community and safety and centers equity-seeking communities in every decision with every line item. COVID-19 has disproportionately impacted racialized communities and women have borne the brunt of this pandemic. This budget must be built with a gender and equity lens. Long-term care is a life support. Long-term care is on life support. And I'm pleading with you to stop the genocide occurring in our long-term care homes. Failure to make substantial investment could be nothing less than negligent, if not criminal. Every Ontario worker needs universal access to employer-provided paid sick days. Employment standards are a provincial responsibility. We need a budget that is transformational and our most, for our most vulnerable, those living in poverty, those struggling to survive on meager Ontario disability supports. We need to raise the rates. We need a livable minimum wage, comprehensive health and safety protections, and presumptive WSIB coverage for all workers. Greater funding for healthcare and public education in general. Affordable public childcare and universal pharmacare. Fund all of this with the fair and progressive taxation of the super rich and big businesses who have profited from this pandemic and should aid in our collective recovery. Economists agree that there is no trade-off between economic activity and public health. Worker health and safety is public health and safety. We must invest in our working people and we must do it urgently. Thank you very much.